And get it guys, it's Calvin from The Cartoon Company in New Zealand. Today we're gonna to talk about gasket sets and the reasons behind buying a good quality gasket set. I'm actually gonna dedicate this video to a guy in South Africa. When I started um, many, many moons ago, I was doing a few conversions and looking on a few forums and there was this guy in South Africa and I, I looked at what he was doing and I saw, thought, man, that guy's doing some really cool stuff. And over the years, we've just ticked along doing our own thing. And through my Facebook page and my YouTube channel, we've made contact and we like carbon copies of each other. When it comes to engine prep, he's got a big, much bigger hammer than me and he will really hammer home the need to prepare your engine properly before you put it in the, in the vehicles. And he goes on about, I think he calls them Bong Hong gasket sets. And he hates them. He does not like them at all. So I thought I'd make a video and show the reasons behind buying good gasket sets over cheap gasket sets. Mark, this one's for you. So the parts that we're going through today are part of a, an order that's going off to Australia. Customer approached me and this particular vehicle had broken a cam belt. Bent valves, so it's getting valves replaced. It bent three exhaust valves and 16 inlet valves. Early, non VBTI, didn't have a cam belt when it should have, and as a result, it's getting a fairly major overhaul. Along with the normal doing the cylinder head, there's the other stuff that's getting done at the same time. Set of head studs. Well, that's always they should be done when you replace it. That's the ideal practice. There's some breather hoses. Ignition rotors and distributor caps. A new thermostat. A set of genuine leads, which I did a video on the fitting of those. It's actually proved really popular. And I'm sending a lot of leads to Australia because we can get them over here at a much better price. The cam belt kit. Now one of my tricks with the cam belt kit is the main parts are VVTI. That way you get these extra seals. And the only thing you change out is the cam belt because the non-VVTI is two teeth shorter than the VVTI. So that's got idlers, tensioners, water pump. Moving on to the main gasket set. So this is a top end gasket set or a, or a head set. I've managed to sell all the genuine gasket sets for the non VVTIs that were available to New Zealand. And I found this as a suitable replacement. It comes highly recommended to me from some very good engine rebuilders. And I'm happy with looking over it that it's as close to genuine as we're going to get. Now there are some components that aren't included because it's a top end set that I think are needed for this job. One of them is the crankshaft seal, the front crankshaft seal. There's a couple of the blanking buns for the back of the cylinder head. They weren't included. And the grommet for the PCV valve which doesn't come in very many of the gasket sets or the tappet cover gasket sets. So I've popped one of those in. And in the bottom end, this little leaking O-ring, so common to leak, it's off the dipstick tube. For a few dollars that it is, well worth uh, popping that in as well. And interesting enough, this gasket set comes with the top O-rings for the injectors and the cushions but it didn't come with the lower insulators. So I've popped a set of genuine lower insulators or injector insulators into the kit as well. Looking over the gasket set at what's included, we've got a left and right gasket, head gasket, little set of instructions on to torque it up correctly, some intake manifold gaskets, five exhaust rings, a water bridge gasket, throttle body gasket, now all these seals for the cam belt covers. That's really interesting. It's 
Good to have them. A couple of other little rubber bits. The seal for the oil fuller. The little seal that the lead goes through on one side of the engine. Spark plug seals and tappet cover gaskets. Air surge gaskets. PCV. That's the EGR. Cam seals. Thermostat gasket. Exhaust gaskets. A range of O-rings and copper washers for fuel rails and the like. These are a pricey little bit if you try to buy them on their own. 32 valve stem seals. And the seals for the tappet covers. So this is quite an extensive kit. And the quality of it is very, very close to the genuine. I've got a couple of genuine gaskets here. So let's have a look at and have a comparison. This is the aftermarket. This is the one out of the gasket set. This is the genuine. Gonna lay them on top of each other. Same dimples. If we look up in here, you'll see it's actually even got the same little creases in here. There is no way you can tell those gaskets apart. They're as good as and may actually even be the genuine item. I could do the same with the intake gasket and the result's going to be the same. But I'm going to lay these down here because I really want to look at the intake gasket that comes out of the cheap gasket set we're going to look at today. Right. Let's cut open this cheap copy and compare it with this good quality copy. There goes my ability to return that gasket set. So in this bag, some of the same stuff. We've got a thermostat gasket and a couple of O-rings. We've got the, the seals. For the tappet covers, a couple of big O-rings, but none of the small ones for the fuel rails. There's top injector seals, but there's no cushions. So already we're starting to miss parts out of the cheap kit. Thirty-two valve stem seals. And the quality of these is noticeably different. They don't look nearly as good as these ones. And we've got to remember a lot of these engines now are 25, 30 years old. And many of them, the valve stem seals are actually still okay. So that shows the importance of using good quality parts in them. We have two exhaust rings. The good kit has five, so it has the ones directly off the engine, the ones further down onto the after the converters, and the one at the first joint. No, the size is okay. So sizing wise, so this one only has the one off the exhaust manifold. To compare the camshaft seals. The one out of the good quality kit is a Japanese made oil seal. This one is not. The cheaper set still has spark plug seals and tappet cover gaskets. Hmm. Probably pretty similar. At the end of the day, they are just pieces of rubber. Looking at the air surge gaskets, these ones are definitely a copy. Nowhere near as nice as these ones. And I've got a feeling if I compared those to a genuine, you couldn't, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. The cheap set's actually going to win a little bit here. Though so this gasket is definitely a copy. You can feel it in every sense. They've given us this one, and they've given us 
this one and that one which is further down onto the exhaust as well. So we're at a win there for the cheap set, the throttle body gasket, whilst both will work just fine, they'd notice it'd be different to the genuine, but that just is a paper gasket and I don't think you'd have problems with either of those. Intake manifold gaskets, now there's a totally different story. If we come in nice and close on these, we can see that the, the copy is a laminated gasket. It's got little rivets through between the two layers. In fact, the copied one on the good quality set's got the same white mark as a genuine one. And I would be tempted again to say that that is actually a genuine intake manifold gasket. The cheap set, however, is definitely not. It's a piece of uh, the like exhaust type or thick cardboard with a steel insert in the middle of it, but not a laminated gasket like the proper one. Noticeably different in its dimensions, and I'm quite certain if you put that into an engine and when you took it apart, all the coating would fall off. There was no way you could use it again. Whereas these ones frequently can be used a couple of times if you take the manifold off. The exhaust gasket again, definitely a copy. None of the little dimples in the side. Double tops. I would like to compare that to the small hole. Not everyone knows, but there are two size of exhaust holes in the exhaust gaskets. I'm going to do a video on exhaust manifolds and I will have a quick chat about the different size holes. So the really early crowns had the big hole. The UCF-10 had the smaller holes. UCF-20s went back to the bigger holes and VBTIs I think are the bigger holes. Two UZs are definitely the bigger one. The port sizes though are the same. It's just the way it lines up on the exhaust manifold. So that's something to note when you're doing these jobs, but most of the time they interchange. This cheap copy, it's this steel laminated, and it isn't actually too bad. It's got a pronounced ridge. It's not a bad gasket. Now when we get to the really important one, the head gasket, this is the good quality gasket. It feels nice to hold. Can't really portray that in the video. But the quality feels good. It's well finished around the edges and it looks really good. This one on the other hand is noticeably a copy. It doesn't feel as nice to hold. You've been working with gaskets for a long time, working in the automotive industry. You can kind of tell what they're like. The overall finish just isn't as nice. Why would you trust your engine to a cheap gasket? And another thing that Mark and I agree with, even in the non-VBTIs, is you grab the steel laminated VBTI gasket, you use these components, but you swap out the gasket set, and you put in the steel laminate, the multi-layered steel. And I've done a video about those, you can actually have a look, I can sit the two gaskets over each other, and you just have one oil gallery holding, hanging up the side, which is where the VVTI is. It's that one right there. And as you can see here, there's the non-VVTI on top of the VVTI gasket, and this is the gallery for the VVTI supply that is out to the side. Doesn't cause any problems on the non-VVTIs, and it works really well. So as you can see, there's quite a difference between the cheap gasket set and the good gasket set. And many of these items, you would struggle to distinguish them between the genuine item, the real thing. And being able to do extra bits, like around the cam belt seals, around all those covers, just finishes off the job so much nicer. And while those standard gaskets are perfectly fine for a standard engine, you want to build an engine that's a bit more indestructible, the VVTI steel laminate is a great way to go. So 
if you're going to take the time, pull your engine down and do an extensive repair like a like this, you could either do what uh, Mr. Watson and I would do and buy a good quality set, or you could buy the cheap set and test your luck out.